rulers, grids and guidelines and a method to help you position objects on the screen. I've got some images on the screen but I'm just going to close down my task pane and my outline pane just to give me a little bit more space to work with. First off is the ruler. We get that from the view menu and down to ruler. You can see at the top and one on the left. These help you because as you drag an object you can see a line on the rulers. It's not easy to see here but you will see them when you practice. If you look on the ruler coming across the top here there is a line here that gives me the position of the object. There you are set. Coming up to 4 there, 2 and 0. And it's the same on the vertical ruler as well. That's the ruler. It's useful but only a bit really. The next step is grids. Have you ever noticed that when you drag an object it sometimes snaps into position and you can't quite get it where you want? Well that's because of grids. To see them we can either use a draw button and then grids and guides or we can get it from the view menu. View, grid and guides. So there's the culprit. Snap objects to grid. That's what makes the object snap into position. But before you rush and switch that off you can alter the size of the spacing to make it more or less useful. I'm going to make it really quite a large so we can see the effect. I'm going to set it at 5 centimeters and I'm going to display the grid on the screen. This just makes it visible. It's always active. This makes it visible. Click on OK and you can see there some little dots that outline where the grid is. Now when I drag an object it will snap into position. It means I can only put it in certain places. I can't put it between the places. It's got to go there or there. There or there. There or there. And it's the same with all the objects. They just snap into position. So obviously with such a large grid that's not very um, helpful. A smaller grid would therefore be more accurate. Next we'll have a look at We'll reduce that back down to a more manageable level. We'll have a look at displaying the drawing guides on the screen. These help you to align the various objects. You can see there's a cross down the slide and I can move those guidelines just by clicking and dragging them. Now when I move an object anywhere close to that it snaps in to the guideline. You can see how it fits on there. That means that if I want to align all my objects that vertical position, I just drag them somewhere close, snaps into position, and there we are, vertically aligned with those objects. I can add more guidelines simply by clicking and dragging the line that's already there, but holding down the control key as I do it, and that gives me new guidelines to work with. So I can work with lots of different guidelines at the same time. So there we are, a way of aligning your objects more accurately.